after Normal Boots vs. Hidden Block, I will be your host for this show, Pro Jared. Uh, joining me is a special helper. <laughs> Jesse Cox is going to be back here uh, helping us out as well. And um, if we're going to do the panel, of course, we're going to need our two families up here. Everyone, let's welcome up Hidden Block. Here on Hidden Block, that's Jimmy Wessel, Cat Icarus, Space Hamster, and Youngtown. And of course, they'll be facing off against the rest of Normal Boots. Come on up. We got the completions. We got Peanut Butter Gamer, Josh, Nick, Paul of Continue, Satchbag, and Shane of Did You Know Gaming. Go ahead and take the seats, guys. And then if we could, tech guys in the back, if we could bring up on screen what we're gonna be playing. I had prepared a whole thing for them, by the way. They don't know anything about this. I made a thing. Oh. All right, if we're ready to go, let's start up the, uh, the panel. Go ahead, Jesse. It, it's starting? All right, here we go. Each other. We got two families, Normal Boots versus Hidden Block. Jesse, let's go to the next slide. So, I made several survey questions about these guys, and it was answered by you. So, not only will they have to try to guess what they think the right answer is, they have to guess what they think you thought the right answer is. This is gonna be pretty tough. All right, let's get uh, let's get one person from each team coming off. Starting off with our first question, we get Gerard. Let's get uh, Wally. Come on up. All right, we get Wally. All right. All right, guys, get your phones out with your air horn apps, and I'll be your buzzers. Jesse, just go ahead and show the question. All right, we're gonna start off pretty easy. Now remember, everyone in the audience, uh, please don't help. Do not shout answers. It's all on them. All right. All right, Gerard. Wally, top five answers on the board. When Jeff goes to the grocery store, name the first aisle he goes to. Gerard. Uh, he goes to the cereal aisle. Cereal aisle. All right, all right, all right. Good answer. Good answer. Survey says. Number two. All right, now Wally, you give me a shot. If you get the number one answer, you get to control it. When Jeff goes to the, gro the, the cereal or the grocery aisle store, what aisle does he go to first? Produce. Produce. Survey says. Ah, oh, pretty close. More points. All right, Gerard. You want to play? All right, learn to play, everybody. All right, we'll go right down the line. Uh, all right, PBG. You know Jeff pretty well. Yeah, yeah. You hang out with him a lot. I've seen him. So I feel like you know this. I know. I all know. Right. So when Jeff goes to the grocery store, what's the first aisle he goes to? See, see, Jeff loves a good beer, so he's heading right to the alcohol aisle. That's where he's going. <laughs> okay. Alcohol aisle. Survey says... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You think you know me? <laughs> you think you know me? All right. It doesn't count. <laughs> so we got the number one and the number three I'm answer. I'm very curious as to what everyone okay. thinks. All right. Right. Number one so Josh. Yeah. When Jeff goes to the grocery store, what's the first aisle he goes to? Condoms! <laughs> All right. Condoms! Survey says... There's protection. There's a whole aisle for that? All right, Paul. In Philadelphia, there is. <laughs> All right, Paul. When Jeff goes to the grocery store, what's the first aisle he goes to? I think Jeff is a really sweet guy. I think he goes to the candy aisle first. The candy aisle. Good answer. Survey says, number one answer on the board. All right, you guys got two attempts to try to get that last question. Otherwise, Hidden Boots, or Hidden Blocks, will give you a chance to take it from you. So Nick. When Jeff goes to the grocery store, name the first aisle he goes to. All right, we went out to dinner last night, and this dude ate like 47 ribs. So I'm gonna say he goes to the meat aisle. 
Meat Isle. Okay. The Meat Isle. Meat Isle. All right. Meat Isle. Survey says. Oh. oh. Satch. It's up to you, man. One last shot to try to get that last answer. Meanwhile, Hidden Block can try to figure out what they think it's going to be. All right, Satch. If you just go to the grocery store. Is this a friend? Yeah, this is all on you. If he's not getting meat, listen. Okay. Everybody needs bread. Everyone needs bread. Bread? Everyone needs bread. Bread! All right. Bread. Survey says... Oh! oh. No. That means Hidden Block. You guys have a chance to figure out what that last answer could possibly be. And if you guys get it, you're gonna get all the points. All right, Jimmy. We're gonna say frozen food or ice cream. Frozen food or frozen, ice cream? Frozen okay. food or ice cream. All right, if you guys get this right, you get all the points. Yeah. Otherwise, normal boots is getting it all. Okay. He says frozen food or ice cream. Survey says. You're gonna get all these points. All right, Jesse, let's see the number three answer on the board. He doesn't have a pet. He does not have a pet. No, do you get it? It's because you're space hamster. That's right. All right, Jesse, how many points is that gonna bring Normal Boots up to? 60 points for Normal Boots. More than 60 on the board. All right, I need another pre layer up on here. Let's get PBG. Let's get Jimmy up front. Get your phones out. All right, hands on your air horns. All right, question two. What animal would Shane most likely tell to F off? Jimmy. Jimmy says cat. Survey says. All right, number three answer. All right, so also you got a chance to probably take control. What animal would Shane most likely tell to F off? I'm just imagining a really big bear shows up. So, and he's just like, get out of here. A bear? All right, Austin says bear. Survey says... All right, sorry, so you guys want a player? They're gonna play, all right. Give a round of applause for your hit block, everybody, as they get on the board here. All right, we're gonna start off with Youngtown. We already got Cat up there, there's six answers. Luke, what animal would Shane most likely tell to F off? Shane is a really complicated human being. So I feel like this requires some sort of a complicated answer. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a lion, because Shane can take a lion. A lion? He can fight a lion. All right, we got a lion. I don't feel confident, but let's see. All right. Lion, survey says. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. Jesse, the guys, It's only one next. You guys only got right, one next. next. It's a little funky, but all right. So it's not a lion. All right, Jeff. All right, so Jeff. What animal would Shane most likely tell that F off? It's not lion. It's not bear. We're, we're going fancy with these. Remember, you, you said pet. I'm just going to say a dog. Dog? Dog. Dog, okay. Yeah. All right. Dog. Survey says... Yeah. Not dog. All right, you guys got one more X. You guys got one more wrong answer, and then Normal Boots is going to get shot on all the points. Remember, Caddy, you're trying to guess what they all thought. A squirrel? I don't know. <laughs> all right. I... Because, I, like, I mean... He, 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 It'd be an easy, if it's, it's an easy thing to F off, I mean, and it would F off, so you might as well go with the easy answer. So I'm going to say squirrel. They're going with the squirrel. Yeah. All right. They're going with squirrel. Survey says... <laughs> Not squirrel. All right. Normal boots. There are still five answers up on there. Get any one of them, you're going to get all the points up on the board. So let's ask Shane. <laughs> Shane, what yeah. animal would you most likely tell to F off? Humans. <laughs> Humans. Survey says number two is on the board. Jesse, 
What was the answer number six? Number five. Giraffe. Number four. And number one. All right, but Noah Boots, you successfully just stole another 40 points, bringing it up to a total of 100 to zero. Give him a round of applause for Noah Boots right now. We still got plenty more questions to go, though. Let's bring up two more people. We got Young Tell. Let's also bring up Josh Henderson. Josh, 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 Stealing a Nintendo gift card. Stealing, all right. Stealing. Survey says... Number two answer is pretty good. All right, so you got a shot at this. If you can get the number one answer, you guys get control. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto? All right. Grand Theft Auto. Survey says... It's not Grand Theft Auto. All right, do you guys want to play Airpad? We're gonna play. We're gonna play. Of course, they got Waleed on their team, so I feel like they have an unfair advantage. I'm also going. So speaking of, Waleed, you're actually gonna start us off. What crime did you commit? Oh, God. Uh, oh, streaking. <laughs> I don't know what I'm guessing. Well, you guys are guessing. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> streaking. Survey says. No, he's up pretty well. All right, Jimmy, he already got streaking, and theft is already up there, so all kinds of stealing is already on there. Yeah. While he's committed a crime, or maybe went to jail, what's the crime he committed? I've known him for years. I look into his eyes, and I see a little bit of fear. Okay. <laughs> Say murder. Murder! Yeah. Murder. 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 Survey says... Number six answer. All right, more points on the board. All right, we still got three answers left. We're back to Luke here. While he just ended up in jail, what else do you think he could have committed? I'm gonna say he got into a, a public fight. He's a very aggressive person. A fight? <laughs> yeah, a fight. All right, gonna go with a fight, okay. Luke's saying a fight. Maybe, yeah, yeah. The survey says... Come on, Jesse. It was not a fight. All right, that was actually your first X. So you guys still got two more chances. All right, so we're back to Jeff. Three answers left. Okay, so Waleed likes to be on his phone a lot <laughs> and stand around. I'm going to say loitering. <laughs> All right. All right, loitering. What does survey say about loitering, Jesse? It's not loitering. Caddy, we got one last shot. I've got this. Number one, I've got this. On the board. Waleed has ended up in jail. Name the crime he committed. Waleed has got to be on something, so drug trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> drug trafficking? <laughs> All right. Ken Icarus is going with drug trafficking, or just drugs. We'll say drugs. Drugs, drugs, right, yeah. drugs. Survey says, <laughs> not drugs. All right, normal boots. You guys got one shot to get no into number one, three, or five. You're gonna get all the points. Paul, are you ready? All right, we're ready, we Fine. know. Wally has ended up in jail. Wasn't that our Name second? Name the crime he committed. The wait, ultimate, wait, 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 wait. Was that our second X? That was the no, third? You, you got three in the wrong in a row. You got one, you got three Word. more. <laughs> I think you guys automatically yeah, you lost got, now. Yeah, all right, so Paul. It's okay. I think he's going to commit the ultimate crime, the highest crime, treason. <laughs> all right, he's going with treason. Treason. Now, if you guys get this right, you're going to get all the points on the board. Otherwise, Hitlock's going to get the points. Paul is saying treason. What's that survey say, Jesse? It's not treason. That means Hitlock. You're going to get all the points up there on the board. Not bad. And I'm sure you're also curious. 
Wally's crying. Let's see, let's see number five. I can see it. All right. Number three. And of course, number one. Jesse, what's that bring our scores up to? It's 100 points to 40 points. Hidden Black, you're still in this. Yeah, we still have a few more questions to go. Let's get core members up here. Let's get Space Hamster. Let's get Paul. Ready? Question four. We got top five answers up on the board. What fantasy creature would Jared most want to be roommates with? Paul, fantasy creature. I'm gonna go with a brownie. Wow. We're going real deep. Yeah. <laughs> like, All right. Under the Wait. umbrella of gnomes. No. I thought you yeah. said a brownie. Yeah, brownie's a type of gnome. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're pretty big in second edition 8 d They had one half a hit die. They were 25. No, you don't know about it. Come on. Come on. All right. Jesse, uh, he says gnomes. Survey says. It's not known. All right, so Jeff, you got a chance to take control of it. A fantasy creature that I would most want to be roommates with. A siren. A siren? Whoa, okay. Yeah, all right. All right. A siren, Jesse. So it says? No. What the hell would we do? Now what happens? I actually don't know. All right, well, you know what? Since you guys buzz in first, you guys, do you want to play or pass? Play it? Oh, all right. All right, no one was gonna take the play. Give him a round of applause. This is very brave. There's no answers up on the board. All right, so despite what it says up there, you guys still got three X's. Apparently this is a hard one. I don't think so. All right, Nick. So then what fantasy creature would Jared most want to be roommates with? I'm gonna go with Mermaid. Mermaid? Does that survey say, Jesse? No! Again, that's what I want, but it's what they think I want. Besides, still got two X's left. All right, Satch, think of those fantasy creatures, because right. which one would I most want to be roommates with? I'm going to say centaur. What is it? Centaur. A centaur? Centaur. <laughs> OK, why centaur? Centaur are people, too. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to elude anything. All right, Satch says centaur. What does that survey say? It's not centaur. That's two X's on you guys. Shane, who doesn't like dragons? Dragons? Yeah. Okay. Shane's gonna go with dragon. What's that survey say, Jesse, for dragon? I'm gonna do answer, all right. So you guys are still alive. We got some points up on the board. So we got a shot at this. We'll go back over to Gerard. What fantasy creature would I most want to be roommates with? This is a stretch, and I know it's going to kind of cost us this, but I'm going to say a chocobo. Oh. Ooh. All right. Good answer. All right. Chocobo. Survey says... Number five answer number four. Yeah. All right, you guys are still alive, PBG. I know you know a lot about fantasy. Let me think here. So, how much time do I have? At, uh, when I finish the question, I get like a couple minutes. So, right? what fantasy creature would I most want to be roommates with? I don't know why I just got the like Ocarina of Time fairy coming out of my like and out of the out of the fountain. So I'm gonna go with fairy. Fairy. All right, he's gonna go with fairy. Survey says <laughs> not fairy. All right. Hit and block once more. You got one shot to try to get all the points on the board. Still the number one answer available. They look like they got it. Got all it. right. What fantasy creature would I most want to be roommates with? A uh, hentai girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> A hentai girl? Yes. One second. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hentai girl. Survey says. What? That's not the same thing. Hitbox is gonna get all those points up there on the board. Can we have a? Do, do are we allowed to protest this? 
sorry. All right, it's his, it's his final word. I'm not the judge. Jesse Cox is. All right, All right. that's fair. That's fair. All right, Jesse, let's uh, let's see what answer number four would have been. Oliver. Oliver. And uh, number three. Elf. Elf. You guys got like every other fantasy like. Because he is an elf. We think of except for those. Two. All the normal ones weren't up there, so we just like yeah something else. Yeah. All right, um, we got some more points up the board. Jesse, what's our score up to? Chocobo's weird. Alvin will eat all 100. No, he To 106. We got ourselves a game. All right, so we got two more normal rounds left, and these are actually pretty important. So these, the next rounds, these are going to be worth double points. These are going to be worth double points. All right, so I need a member from each team up on here. Who's up next? All right, let's get Nick Murphy. We'll get Ken Icarus. Give a round of applause, everybody, as we get ready for this next round. This is the first of the double points rounds. This is much more serious. Go, Patty. All right, hands on your air horns. Name something that makes Jimmy Wetzel angry. Nick Murphy. I'm going to go with people. <laughs> people? All right. All right, five minutes with the board. Name something that makes Jimmy Wetzel angry. He says, People survey says. That's just somehow not nope. people, surprisingly. All right, so Caddy got a chance to get the board here. Name something that makes Jimmy Wetzel angry. People who. Oh no, it's people again, isn't it? Um. Us. Cats. I don't know. Because it's the opposite of a dog, and he's obsessed with dogs, so I'm going to just say cats. Solid. Okay. Wow, you really know me well, Caddy. <laughs> Friends for cats? Uh, no, it's not cats. All right. It pass, pass, Sorry, pass. Jimmy. Pass, pass. You guys are passing. Pass. They're gonna pass. So you guys are actually gonna play on this. What, what, what? Oh. Is it my? Is it my? Yeah, they chose the pass. I heard. Do we, pass do we have anyone over here? Yeah. All right. All right. They got no hit blocks. Gonna take control of it. All right. All five Jimmy. answers are up there. Now you got Jimmy up on here, so it's a little bit like cheating. But Youngtown. Name something that makes Jimmy Wetzel angry. I think of Jimmy, and I remember this classic emote. Is it still an emote? I think so. Princess Daisy. <laughs> Anyone who's ever watched Jimmy's streams in the every time he plays Mario Party? Is it only Mario Party? All right, this Daisy always beats him. You've never seen a man. Go <laughs> I'm, I have six wins and two losses. Always beats him. It's the weirdest thing. All right, Princess Daisy. I know his hatred. Survey says... No! Yes! Peach for life, right? Points. Those are going to be our points, no worries. No That's 50 points game. for normal boost, go ahead and mark that up. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Jeff, name something that makes Jimmy Wetzel angry. YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good answer. I like that. YouTube comments. Survey says... Surprisingly, no. All right, that's your first X. So you got two more still. Back down to Caddy. You got another shot of this. You said cats earlier, but let's try this again. That was a bad answer. Yeah, um, name something that makes Jimmy Wetzel angry. That guy over there. <laughs> a Wally need? Yeah. You're gonna go with Wally? I'm gonna go with Wally, yeah. All right. Yeah. Something that makes Jimmy angry. Wally survey says. Uh, that's two X's for you, not Wally. I am not doing very well. So, all right, Wally, thankfully you don't make Jimmy angry. So you get a shot to try to get some points here. All right, Wally. Name something that makes Jimmy Wetzel angry, Wally. <laughs> Anime? <laughs> Anime? <laughs> Anime, all right. You're gonna go with Anime. Jesse, what's that survey say about Anime? It's not Anime, all right. Normal Boots, you guys got one shot to try to get any one of these four answers for guys. All the double points on the board. Shane, um, name something that makes Jimmy Wetzel angry. I think we're gonna go with Yokai Watch slash Yokai Watch fans. <laughs> Yokai Watch slash Yokai Watch fans. All right. Yokai Watch slash Yokai Watch fans. Survey says oh. it's not. That means Hidden Block, you're gonna get all 50 points up there for the one answer you guys got. Now, let's try to figure out what you guys thought made Jimmy angry. So let's see answer number five. 
scene. Number four. Is that a rallet? Number three. Ooh, why? <laughs> <laughs> And number two. <laughs> All right. Not a whole lot of Love points that round, but they were worth double. So I Jesse, what's our bring, what's our score up to right now? So adorable. All right, so we got 156 to 100. So it's still pretty close. You guys having a good time, by the way? Woo! All right. This is our last question in the normal round before we go to the final feud. So there's a good chance whoever gets this could be playing that. All right, let's get one member from each team back up here. We're gonna get Satch and we're gonna get Waleed. All right, so Waleed, hands on your buzzers. If Satch had a blank canvas, name something he would paint. Satch. Sonic. Sonic? The Hedgehog? Yes. Sonic! Survey says? Alright, alright, alright. Alright, now Waleed, if you get any answer that's above seven, get control. If Satch had a blank canvas, name something he would paint. A bag. A bag? <laughs> Survey says? Oh, no! no answer! Alright, do you guys want to play or do you want to pass? All right, they're gonna play it. All right, they're gonna play it. All right, still got five answers up on there. Starting with Jimmy. All right, if Satch had a blank canvas, name something he would paint. Zangief. Zangief? From Street Fighter? Yes. Is there a story that I don't know? <laughs> Why Zangief? <laughs> Leave so, it. Tell me later. Leave it. <laughs> All right. Zanky from Street Fighter. Survey yeah. says no. Still got two more chances though. Young Town. I think I know. Okay. I, he's he's talked about this game over and over and over in his videos. Firewatch. Something from that game. Something from Firewatch. 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 All right. Going with Firewatch. What's that survey say? Okay, close. All right, Je Jesse's feeling generous. Give you the landscape points. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Is that fair to you guys? Yes. It's up okay. to Jesse. Word. All right. Jeff. If Satch had a blank canvas, name something he would paint. He's gonna paint a portrait of Childish Gambino. <laughs> of, of Childish Gambino. Is Zangief also in there? <laughs> All right, Childish Gambino, <laughs> survey says, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> All right, Caddy, we got two X's up on the board, one more X and then Normal Boots gets a shot at the points. If Satch had a blank canvas, name something that he would paint. The word copacetic. <laughs> The word copacetic. Yeah, just, I just write it. I actually like that. I like that answer. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just write it down, you know? Yeah. It's gonna say copacetic. Survey says not copacetic. Noble boots. You guys now got one shot to get any one of the remaining four answers. Try to get all the points off the board. So we'll go to Satch here. Satch, if you had a blank canvas, what's something that you would paint? Something Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross. Something Chrono Trigger or Chrono Cross? All right. Survey says... No! That means all those points are going to go over to Hidden Block. You guys get all of those. Give them a round of applause for that round, too, everybody. All right. Jesse, let's show everyone the uh, number two answer. Number two is a self-portrait, followed by the number three answer. Something abstract, you would do that. Uh, then show them the number six answer. It's like a city or a cityscape. And then for some reason, the number five answer. Jerry. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Is Zangief and Childish Gambino also in this? <laughs> Is it? 
All right, those were all the normal rounds. We're actually up to our final few now before we figure out what the winner is. Jesse, what's our points up to? 228 to 100. Please all don't right. hate us, crowd. We know you love them more. All right, so now you guys Not know. true. So you, okay? So it's still gonna be the same thing. Where I'm gonna give you, ask you eight questions. You have to get as many as you can within 45 seconds. Now, do you guys want to go first or second? Because remember, whoever goes second cannot repeat the answers the first person said. Meanwhile, you guys also need to think of whoever you want to send out to possibly compete against this. So all those points before don't matter. This is the final round. Whoever gets the most points out of this round is the final winner. Now, this, this, is, this was all mine to choose if you want to go first or second in these final rounds. So you guys start choosing amongst yourselves who you want to send out. And we'll ask you guys, do you guys want to, want to play first or second? You're going to play first, okay. You're going to have, to, uh, we'll have one person stay up here. Who's going to be the member? It's going to be, be Jimmy. Jimmy. All right, everyone give Jimmy a round of applause. Woo! All right, and then who's going to be leaving over here? Gerard, okay. So Gerard, uh, I want to have you kind of go in the back into the tech area and just kind of plug your ears. Honor system, just be cool about it. Everyone give Gerard, everyone say bye, Gerard. Give him a round of applause as he heads out, too. All right, Jimmy. So nervous, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh, no, I'm missing cards. <laughs> I'm missing my cards. I only got three of them here. Did I drop them somewhere? Technical yeah, I know. <laughs> difficulties. Oh, you know you can't do? Uh, if you actually... Woo! That's all I need. Are you guys having fun? Yeah! Woo! I can go off of that, okay? All right. Hey, thanks everybody for coming out, by the way. Really appreciate yeah. you. Round of applause for everybody. Thank you so much. I'm somehow missing cards, so we'll make do. Okay. I can remember the questions off of this, all right? You're going to get approximately 45 seconds to get as many of these right as you possibly can. All right. Okay? Yeah. All right. Jimmy, are you ready? Yes. Audience, are you ready? Sure. When I finish saying the first question, start that timer. All right. Jimmy? Out of every one of normal boots, who is most likely to sleep past their morning alarm? Shane. All right, uh, question two. What's the worst thing Caddy has ever purchased? PS Vita. Vita. All right, question three. Out of everyone from hidden boots, or hidden block and normal boots, who is Paul most likely to forget at the airport? Wally. <laughs> All right, question four. Uh, out of everyone from um, Hidden Block and Normal Boots, who has the cleanest office? Luke. Luke. All right, question five. Name something Gerard has lost in a hotel room. Debit card. Card. Number six. Name something Youngtown never leaves home without. Hat. Seven. Name something PBG hides in his closet. <laughs> Zelda costume. <laughs> and finally, name something Josh really wants to kick in the face. Me. <laughs> all right, round of applause for all of those, everybody. <laughs> Jimmy, not going anywhere. Come on, up back. So we're going to go through the answers. Okay. Bring Gerard back. Yeah. All right. So starting off at number one, who do you think is most likely to see past their morning alarm? You said Shane. Yes. Survey said? Shane was on there. He was like the number four answer, I believe. He's I lived four. with him. He slept all throughout the day. I never saw him. All right. For three months. Number two, all right. For Caddy's worst purchase, you said the PlayStation Vita. Yeah. Survey said? Uh, Not the Vita. No points there. All right. So out of everyone of Hidden Block and Normal Boost, who is someone that Paul's most likely to forget at the airport, you said Wallet. Survey says? I believe Wallet was the number one answer, by the way, so you got the number one answer on that one. Yes. All right. Sorry, Wallet. I wouldn't forget you. Number four, out of everyone here who has the cleanest office, you said Luke. Survey said, not Luke. 
All right, for number five, name something that Gerard has lost in the hotel room. You said debit card. Survey said? Not debit card, no points there. All right, name something that Youngtown never leaves home without. You said hat. Answer says. Number one answer. It was the number one answer. Number one answer was hat. All right, number seven. Name something that PBG hides in his closet. You said uh, Zelda costume? Never one answer. All right. Survey says. <laughs> Zelda stuff was on there, so yeah. it looks like Zelda stuff. Thank you. All right, and finally, uh, name something that Josh Henderson really wants to kick in the face. You said Me. you. Me. Survey says. <laughs> Surprisingly, not you. Thank you. What do you mean surprisingly? <laughs> What's that about? There's other things he wants to kick more. Himself into my heart. All right, so Jesse, once you write down the total points, we won't tell you what they are yet, because now Gerard's gonna get a shot. Yep. He's gonna do all of these same things, but he can't say anything he already has. So you already got some of the number one answers, which right. gives you an advantage. All right, right, give a round of applause for Jimmy, everybody. He's awesome. Thank you. All right, Gerard! Count of three, everyone say, hey, Gerard, come back. One, two, three. Hey, hey Gerard, come, come back. back, nerd. And give a round of applause as Gerard makes his way back to the stage. <laughs> All right, Gerard, let's get you a microphone. Don't choke. Put you back there. All right. Don't no pressure. Don't choke. So Jimmy did a good job. He did get a couple of number one answers down there. But he also got a couple of zeros. So he still got a shot. Now remember, you cannot say anything that Jimmy has already said. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'll, okay. If I say try again, sure. you can say something else. If you want to pass, you can. And we'll come back to the question at, if you have more time. Sure. Okay. Gerard, are you ready? No. <laughs> All right, audience, are you ready? Yeah! All right, same thing. First question. Out of everyone from Normal Boots, who is most likely to sleep past their alarm? Austin. Number two. Uh, what is the worst thing Caddy has ever bought? Uh, one of those, like, uh, like freaking lullaby books or movies, VHS tapes. Okay, uh, number three. Uh, name of everyone from Normal, Block, Normal Boots and Hidden Block, who is Paul most likely to forget at the airport? Well, Wally. Try again. Uh... Well, eat again? No, oh, again. um... Um... Satchel. All right, question four. Out of everyone, who has the cleanest office? Uh, probably Paul. Next. Question five. Uh, name something that you have lost in a hotel room. Headphones. Number six, name something Youngtown never leaves home without. Headphones. Number seven, no. ah, damn, she's name like... something PBG hides in his closet. Uh, Arthur Comics or Arthur Books. Number eight, name something Josh really wants to kick in the face. You. <laughs> when I say you, I just mean whoever's reading the question you. Sure, sure. Backtrack. All right, good job, Gerard. Give a round of applause for that. All right, so now we're going to go through these final answers. Just got to tell us the points, we're going to figure out who the winner is. So let's go and take a look back at that board as we look back at what you said. Can we bring the board back on screen, please? All right, so for morning alarm, names of Ronaldo Bush most likely to be past their alarm. You said PBG. Survey said... That is the number one answer. Number one answer is PBG. Out of all the meetings we have, he's always the last one to show up. Question two, worst thing Caddy's ever bought. You said a bad movie. Or a bootleg. Lullabies. Lullabies, bad Lullabies. movies. Survey said? <laughs> no. Uh, the number one answer there, I believe, was, was it bootleg games? Oh, Peppa Pig stuff. That's right, Peppa Pig. Yeah, anything Peppa Pig. Also on there was haircut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number that's three. A, that's a bad roast. I'm sorry, Caddy. Question three. Uh, out of everyone, name someone that Paul would be most likely to forget at the airport. You said Satch. 
Survey set. Not stash. Wallen was the number one answer. Of course it was Wallen. Followed by Josh. That was a really good second answer. <laughs> Sorry, Satch. Number four, out of everyone who has the cleanest office, you said Paul. Survey said... <laughs> no, number one answer was Satch. Of course. Uh, followed true. by me for some reason? It's not true. <laughs> and then Shane. All right, so number five. Name something that you have lost in a hotel room. Uh, what'd you say? I forgot. I said headphones. You said headphones. Like, yep. Survey said... <laughs> number one answer was uh, beard accessories. <laughs> Just so we're all clear, I actually don't like trim my beard like that. I don't ever carry stuff with me. Other answers was uh, Alex Bastiani and sleep. <laughs> sleep. Yeah. Alright, number six. Name something Young Tom never leaves home without. You said headphones. Can I just guess the correct answer? Sure. Hat. It was hat. Jimmy already got it, but you said headphones. Survey said hey. headphones was one of the answers. He got some points for that one. Question seven. Name something PBG hides in his closet. You said Arthur stuff. Yeah. Survey said yeah. Arthur stuff was the number one answer. And finally, name something that Josh really wants to kick in the face. You said, me. Survey said. It's more the general you. But. Number one answer was Paul. <laughs> followed by himself. <laughs> All right, give Gerard a round of applause, everybody. All right. So Jesse's going to tally up those points, and we're going to figure out exactly who won all of that. There's a couple of number one answers on both sides, a couple of misses on both sides. I actually don't even know what the, who won yet, because I lost my cards. All right, I want to thank you guys all for coming to our panel. I really appreciate it. Give yourself a round of applause for that. A round of applause for Normal Boots for everything they've done. That's a really good job. The best group. Thank you. Thank you. A round of applause for Hidden Block for getting the most points so far. And don't forget to give a round of applause for Jesse Cox. Yeah. Round of applause for Jared for putting this all, all right, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, everyone, let's get a drum roll going. Just right on your lap. Start doing a drum roll for me as we get the final score. Jesse, in that final feud, what was the final score? Yeah, just the final. All right, with a final score of. 100 points to 88 points. The winner is Normal Boots! Yeah! Yeah! We know right. this. We know That's this. our panel, everybody. Thank you guys very much for coming. If you want to see us, we'll be running around. All of us come by our booth over by the, uh, the army truck. We'll be hanging around there. Feel free to say hi, get autographs and photos or whatever. Thank you guys all very much. Have a good day.